Good morning. Let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that they may be acceptable in thy sight, and glorify thee, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The reading for this coming Sunday, the 25th Sunday after Pentecost, is from Zephaniah chapter 1, verses 7 through 16. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand, for the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice, he hath bid his guests, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. And the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Howl ye, inhabitants of Mektesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees, that say in their heart, The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry very there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. Here ends the reading. Oh my, the great day of the Lord is near, and that day is a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of thick darkness. Some of these Old Testament readings feel a little harsh, especially when we consider what the world is like today. It seems as though last Sunday's Old Testament reading sounded a lot like this one from Zephaniah. The prophets were called to warn the people. They are still called to warn the people that trouble will come the way of people who do violence and deceit. He will cut off the merchants that bear silver. It is a wise person who holds, who keeps their peace and the presence of the Lord God. And guess what? We are always in the presence of the Lord. He sees, he knows everything we think and say and do. He hears the very thoughts of our hearts. So do not think that he doesn't know that you say within your hearts that the Lord won't do a thing, but I can do anything I want. It's not a wise thing to despise the word, the will of the Lord. Yet in the midst of this warning is also an invitation. He will bid his guests to come. He will bid them to come to him. Indeed, he will. He will welcome his guests, his children, into his arms for the sake of his beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.